Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami. I'm the Mysterious JG. Last time, we, a Yakuza guy who's like a well-respected enforcer in whatever our frickin' family is, we're about to be given our own family. Like, I'm not an expert on how Yakuza stuff works, but it's like, and it, there's some similarity to the Western, like the Italian-American mafias where... You know, you, you would belong to a crime family and uh, people who were made men who were actually part of the family could be, you know, they could have their own crew. You could have guys who worked for you who weren't necessarily like, you know, they were they responded. It's like an officer. You're a subordinate. You've got your crew that's within a larger family. You'll be the head of a single crew, uh, but you have to report to the head of the family. But there's something else going on here where it's clans and families. So it's all, it, it, to me, it's almost like clans and families. Like, I was watch, watched Goodfellas a couple of weeks ago, and, um, you know, such and such guy had his own crew, and uh, uh, I forget his name. The guy who who tells Joe Pesci's character to go, go home and get his fucking shine box, and they murder that guy, and then Bill Blatz, I guess? That might be confusing characters. But yeah, they have to, like, they have to, like, that guy's whole crew will be out trying to kill them, so they have to cover up that it's them who did it. Also, they didn't have permission of whack made man, blah, blah, going off this whole long thing about Goodfellas. But the point is, yeah, uh, Bill Blatz's crew was part of one of the uh, official Italian mafia families. Whereas in this game, like, Kiryu is part of uh, a clan, but he's going to be given his own family to run in the short-term future of this game. Unless something happens, and he himself has said, hey, let's not count our eggs before they're hatched. Um, we also know that he gets arrested for murder, and that this is a flashback to before that happens. So, I don't know. Uh, Gakusa games do seem to like to start with a character uh, in a flashback and getting sent to prison for a long stretch, and then the main game happens. What, like I played Like a Dragon before I played Yakuza, like Kiwami slash Yakuza. So I don't know for sure that that's exactly how this goes, but I've got a feeling that might be that Yakuza Like a Dragon might have been a callback to this game working that way. Um, but at any rate, that's what's happening. We're still doing missions for the main family as like an underling, but we're about to take over our own little, uh, the main clan. We're about to take over our own little family because we're so freaking good at our job and everybody respects us and we're such a super badass. Because after all, incredible melee combat ability is the key to being able to run an organized criminal enterprise. So let's continue with where the story actually wants us to go. There's got to be a way to run. And I'm pretty sure we can get up these stairs, too. Oh, no. Maybe it's this door I'm supposed to go in. Yes. Okay, that's what it is. Got a little stuck there. Sorry. It's always nice and quiet here when it's closed. Any any further discussion on why you're closed and there's a bunch of paying customers outside who are unhappy about it? I don't have a family yet. Oh, there's Akira Nishikiyama of the Dojo family. Stop talking like it is. Why are they really not being very nice to the boss? Watch it, I'll have to beat the shit out of you. I still work for him, you know. You're kind of bitter. I thought you were like our buddy. What about my sister? Oh, yeah, sympathy. Because it's going to help her? Yeah, that's a fun topic for me. Surgeries and how they're extremely painful, expensive, and if they don't work, you die. I wanted to be trashed before you fools started! A ring. 
And I could voice act this part because they're not actually saying anything. I'm bitter. Hey, have fun. Ha, I obviously prefer him to you, but still, don't let that make you bitter. Or the fact that he's more successful. Oh, another seven years earlier. Hi, right, we're here to double team Yumi. Please close the bar now that we're here. <laughs> At least he's the one who's a jerk instead of us. What the fuck, you assholes? The usual? A cigarette each? I guess maybe that is a thing in Japanese bars. You go in there and you get individual cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I prefer to beat up other Yakuza on the street for money. Why did you go into organized crime if you don't approve of casinos? I'm our attorney, a lieutenant advisor. I'm a British. Force for the trees doesn't really make sense here, but okay. You've hit the glass ceiling. They won't. They won't hire you any farther unless they find out you're a secret Korean. Sorry. So yeah, that'll be a thing in a later Yakuza game. <laughs> but it's already been a running joke in several Let's Plays that one of the Yakuza games, the story involves a whole thing with like top, like. Koreans in Japan who are posing as Japanese that are revealed to be secretly Korean. So when they said he hit the glass ceiling, I'm like, well, he's a Japanese and he's a man, so what would the glass ceiling be? Ah, secret Koreans are running everything, so he can't advance because he's actually Japanese. Chance. You got a chance. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence talk. I'd sure love to do that, but that's not going to happen because you're way better than I am. And also, the girl we both like likes you. Oh, never mind. They, they did get given something other than just cigarettes. Uh, I, I love subtle storytelling. The guy on screen right right now, whose name I've already forgotten, who's been way... He's, he just seems a little cranky and a little bitter. He just drank his his first drink of the night down way fast. <laughs> Kiryu kind of sipped at his and is going to milk it. Oh, I got a bad feeling about that fellow. <laughs> he's getting boozed up in a hurry here. <laughs> Did I get her anything? Oh, I guess a present would be the thing to get her, huh? I didn't know Baka translated literally as dumbass. I thought it just meant idiot. I guess I didn't get the same thing. Necklace? That's the main thing. I ordered it from a very disreputable website, so I was getting really nervous it was never going to arrive. Uh, let me do that so that I could have done something. That sounds like I should be angry. Fuck you! Get her a cake. Get her away from that jerk. I maybe I'm just being judgmental. A lot of these games seem to be the Yakuza games in particular about guys falling in love with girls whose job is to make eyes at guys and get them to spend money on them at bars. Like, wasn't the young master from Like a Dragon's Hole 
starting point of his whole like transformation into this terrible monster that the girl he was paying to be his girlfriend didn't really like him as much as he thought she did. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I'm a little worried about where this is going. Yeah, you could order one and have it take months to arrive. Uh, shouldn't one of us be in love with the uh, with the mama son just to make it easier? But I can't fit my heart into that ring. I just it, I mean maybe we don't have ring buying money. Oh, I, I'm not sure that we're ever going to play the game again, but... Anyway, let's have a completely different scene. Let's let's teleport that other guy out of here. Boy, you really are hopeless. Oh, I know all about this. By the way, I'm not the same as the guy you went on that first mission with. Oh, he's already kind of passed out. What's that? How about a ring from a famous French brand? They just came out with a new style and the ladies are loving it. The other day, Yumi-chan and I were browsing through some magazines and she said she'd love to have one too. Who? Well, why don't you get her one? Good idea. Okay, I'll try that. I haven't had a chance to voice act as a friend yet, but I think I might know where that's going. I'll take a guess with my voice, and if I'm wrong, it'll still be fun. Yumi's birthday, huh? I completely forgot. Around here, the best place to buy a ring would probably be Le Marche on Showa Street. I should head over there now. Get the ring. Save for the pause menu or at phones and hideouts. Ooh, Pink Street, eh? Well, it's still Chapter 1, Fate of a Kingslayer. We're hopping around in time. Oh, hold X to run, okay. Round map shows your stuff, and this shows other stuff. Is that a Bleach Japan sign, friend? Oh, never mind. It's not a thing yet. Oh, hey. Okay. Um, I remember who this guy is, but there's no reason you would. What the hell's going on here, friend? It's Kawami Bob Utsunomiya. And, and like a third character needs the clown voice. I guess I'll give him a different clown voice. Uh, hey, what can I do for you today? Create CP. Well, I've got one CP. Gotta go for LC. CP can get you unstoppable dash without getting tired. Get the Ibisu socks accessory. I wonder if you have to get these in order. Keep keep. Gotta go fast. Dash for longer. Get the locker key watcher accessory. Trouble finder accessory. Card capture. Joy food even when HP is full. That'll be super useful actually when I start trying to get CP points from clearing restaurants. Altered Beast. Oh, whatever. I got no CP points to spend. Hey, buddy. Why so serious? That's JG's transparent attempt to make sure you understand the oppression he's trying to do. This city deserves a better class of guy dressed as a clown handing out items in exchange for CP, and I'm gonna give it to him. I got pocket tissues. Okay, can I get any more? No? That's like a recurring thing in this series, isn't it? I don't have time for this now. I'll come back later. Okay. Pawn shop might be a story thing later. 
Or just a regular old shop later. I have a feeling I'm going to like Infinite Dash. Because right now I'm afraid to dash for any stretch of time at all. I'm not my all. I'm getting further away if I go that way. And nobody will talk. Oh, that guy just disappeared. Nobody will talk to me. It's very frustrating. Oh, Nissan! I can save the game and use the item boxes and telephones. Okay. Well. I guess I'll start saving. I want to hold on to, to slot three. I believe slot three is like when I very first enter a chapter, having done as much as I could off screen with like nonsense. I might have to check it out off screen, but I think I could jump into chapter three or save slot three and just play from there. When, when I get to, that's the beginning of chapter four. Some of these early chapters are very short and story heavy. But when I get to chapter four, I think like before doing anything, I can probably load that save slot and just, it'll just mean I grind it as much as possible in the first three chapters, and that'll probably be all right. Show us street. Ooh. They marsh. Say freak. Say freak. They chic. They marsh. Oh, here we go. Welcome. Anything catch your eye today? Well, actually, I hear there's a popular women's ring that's made in France, where the ladies wear no pets. Yeah, I believe you're referring to this one. Hmm, well. It's a very high demand item right now, and it happens to be at the last of our stock. Our next shipment may be a ways off, so if you don't act fast. Alright, I'll take it. We talk a lot alike, don't we? Very good. Will this be a gift, or is this for you? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a birthday present. Wait, it's a woman's ring. What the fuck, man? <laughs> If you're interested, we do offer an engraving service. Would you like a name engraved? In that case, can you put Yumi on it? Okay, that just costs an extra 8 billion yen. Yes, of course. Can you spell Yumi? Paid all of our monies. Got an engraved platinum ring. Thank you, sir. Many happy returns. Cool beans. All right, well, I'm glad we were forced to go all the way over here. Now loading explosion. Good, I brought the ring. Raina said this is something Yumi wants, so I hope she likes it. Better head back to Serena. Okay. Get back to Serena, this is a long way. Well, I thought I was allowed to go there before. Maybe I'm confused. Hey, Popo! I don't have time for Popo. It's known as a slow food inconvenience store. Oh. Oh, it's a suspicious man. He, he really uh, has a lot of suspicion about the government and everything else in his life. Whoa, sorry, pal. Uh, uh, oh, uh... Huh? The ring is missing. I lost in Grey Platinum Ring. Damn, it must have been that guy. Get the ring back. Yeah, you're damn right. That's for our girlfriend, or... The girl we want to be our girlfriend. Where'd that guy go? 
Oh, um. Pardon me, were you pickpocketed as well? Uh, yeah, to get you too. Yeah, he cleaned me out. I was carrying all sorts of engraved rings. He's got a reputation around here. He robs you, then he goes into hiding. He's been getting away by slipping into alleyways or even behind vending machines. Seriously. Earlier, I watched him run from that alley towards Tenkaichi Street, but that was the last I've seen of him. I get the picture, but no matter where he hides, my spirit will find him and take back what he stole from me. If you track him down, please avenge me too. You got it. No, but I mean specifically, there are items that I want you to retrieve. Whatever. Tenkaichi Alley, huh? Thank you for speaking to me again, even though I know you only did it for CP accomplishment. Okay. Wait, they say where to go? Tenkaichi Alley. So they label the alleys, I guess. Okay. Hurry towards Tenkaichi Alley. Get stuck. Keep running. Hey, did you see anything, lady? What a strange man. Was it, uh... Was it, um... Jim Neidhart wearing a mask and pulling on his beard? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Some uh, strange man in a coat just started off into that alley. What was that all about? What a strange man. Yeah, I think we got him. Can I pound the shit out of this guy? Mm hmm. Isn't that the pickpocket? Hey, you! Get into my car. Ack! Give me back the ring you stole. Crap, you found me! Hey, get back here. Why would you just let him. <sighs> Whatever. He's fast. Oh no, my wallet's gone. That guy was a pickpocket. He kicks pockets while he runs. He's good, but now he's really on my shit list. Did you see where he went, new companion? You see the guy in the coat run by? The thieving bubba pickpocket, you mean? Yeah, he got me and booked it towards Supon Street. I should have waited to make that withdrawal. Well, don't worry. When I get your money back, I will keep it for myself and it will... Serve me well. Supon Street is that away. This is main story, so I'm pretty sure we can't fail. We just keep at this until we finally get it. Wow, this is like rock hard force field little ribbons hanging in that store entrance. Hey, pal. Mm hmm. He's hiding in plain sight. Hey, finally found you. Give back that ring. Damn it, you found me again. My voice changes every time. Hold it, no way you're getting past me again. What the hell? Why would anyone go to all this trouble to track me down? <laughs> but the joke's on you. Hmm? What makes you say that? If you want your ring back, you'll have to take me down. To be warned, I'm the heir to a deadly lost art of assassination. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. I think shit's about to get real bad for you. In the Dragon of Jima style, Kyrio is proficient in three other styles. Oh, besides that, he's got the Brawler style, Offense and Defense, the Rush style, Focus on Fast Hits and Quick Evasion, and Beast style, Go Fun with this, Go Wild rather with Destructive Strength. Beast style is by far the most fun. Training is now complete. Deal out some street justice.
That's like three button presses to do that, by the way. <laughs> beat, like, beat style is a lot of fun. It's a terrible style in some situations, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll stop training as an assassin. How about you stop pickpocketing? Now give back the rig you stole from me. Actually, I don't have it anymore. I gave it to Fantasy Mix. What? What did you do with it? I pawned it off just a little while ago. Enough of this. You need to go buy it back then. Well, I'm sorry to say I sort of, well, I kind of used that money to buy lottery tickets. Man, that guy works fast. We were on his ass as soon as he stole from us. What? The jackpot's huge right now, so I'm hoping I can win it big, but we won't know until later. Damn, I need to go to the pawn shop and buy it back now. This has been, um... Pretty annoying, uh, for Kiryu, I'd say. The, um... They're not really, uh... Like, we don't have any money. Like, I can go to the pawn shop if the story wants me to. But we don't have money. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Well, we did see the pawn shop before, and... We were told we didn't have time to monkey with it, but... Now... We've got to monkey with it. Otherwise, we can't buy a gift for this girl and what we know to be a flashback. When we come back next time, folks, we will buy a gift for this girl and what we know to be a flashback. See you then.